welcome fellow folders and we have another little uh, special cool update video for my paper collection. I finally uh, managed to gather all of the, the end cuts of the sheets I've made over the past few months um, and finally I cut out all the squares needed um, from each one. So basically one cut from each um, off cut to finally add to the collection so it's all nice and neatly done right here. So I'm not going to add every single one because that would take forever. I will do like two sleeves, maybe this one, this one and then this one maybe. Yeah I will, I will do that because there is quite a lot. Let's see, Lots of colours, textures, lots to add. I'll go through a few of them as well. So yeah, again, we're running two cameras in 4K, so make sure to watch it in the best quality. So yeah, let's get started. Finally, we are able to add more. I'm not sure if I showed this one. That's just a little example. This is the paper I made for the three-headed sort of dragon type, um, that, that's just with a white on the other side, just to, just to see how it looks, so it's a little example as well. So let's see where they are. So yeah, I'll do, I'll do two sleeves, that should be enough. Now what paper is this? I can't remember. I think that's Penji. I think it is, but anyway. Side is it this one here? I really can't wait to see how this is going to look when it's all, all fully finally done. Every single slot filled. I really can't wait. I wonder when it, uh, that will be as well. I just need, need to try and constantly create paper for it to, to fill up that quick. Um, I think this is. Penchy as well. Nice shiny black. It's one of, like, paper making is one of the most funnest, coolest things that you can do in origami. It does take a little bit of getting into in terms of everything you need, but once you do, you can start firing out paper. Um, you don't need to worry about and where you order it from, or you don't need to worry about constantly ordering paper. I mean, there's so many options that open up in terms of making your own colours, etc. But uh, yeah, we have Penchy as well. I'll just try it from that angle. I mean, I probably won't select the right footage so you can see it on that camera, but I'll make sure to do that, see if that works. Uh, see if that was close enough. Oh, this next sheet coming up is a good one. These two sheets, yeah, I couldn't replicate these sheets. Um, well, originally there's a sh there's one of them in here which is a lighter red which I made for a lobster, and I initially thought it's not dark enough. I may need to try and up the the colours to try and get them more darker, more richer, and then I came up with these two. So. I, I'm just I'm in love with this one so much, especially because I can just imagine this being a lobster. I don't know how. Hopefully you can see it really nice. I'm trying to zoom in. Yeah, we're in focus. I think we're in I can't see from this angle really. Yeah, I'm sure we are. If I can take pictures, but yeah, I'm in love with this. Um, I got the colours absolutely perfectly. Uh, the paper is something I had to work with. This type. Um, but it feels absolutely amazing. Um, so I then tried to recreate that method on 100 centimeters, which I couldn't do. 
I've tried uh, three times, it didn't work. So I think my best bet is to try it on a smaller, smaller size because it, it will be easier to control uh, the paper on that size. Uh, yeah, control everything of something done. And here we have El Vici. Again, I love this paper so much. It's the colours, the shine, everything about it. And it's been a while since I've actually made it. And Penny is fast asleep in his cage, so I thought I would manage I would try to attempt to film a video um, see what I can do before he wakes up and the meowing starts. So here we have um, it's the new paper, it's the 4GSM. I've, I've got a few of them in here as well, different colours, um, but I've not actually used it yet. I've not tried to make a full sheet at the moment. Um, I've only ever done um, small test sheets like this. So I've still to get to testing out that. Just because I've been making a lot of um, new paper, I'm still to get to this. Ah. Let's fold it over the corner slightly. Let's fix it. There we go. And if you're thinking, is it worth making your own paper? 100% uh, definitely. Again, it takes a little bit of getting used to it, figuring everything out, figuring out your own technique, and then once you have the basics, you can just, I mean, each of these samples, there's a full sheet either, oops, there's a full sheet um, upstairs or um, it's already been folded into a model or it's a sheet that I have sold so it's definitely worth it. If I, if I could never make my own paper none of this would exist. Um, yeah again this is the 4GSM as well just a different way of colouring so it's a different texture compared to this one so yeah it's Definitely worth making your own paper, it's so much um, it's so much more exciting because you can make sheets that you can't buy. That's as simple as it gets. As good as it gets as well. Because I can where can I buy a sheet like this? I'm not saying it's the best or amazing, but what what sell uh, what person sells or what place that sells a sheet that I'm looking for? I mean, you could have a sheet in mind, but you can't find it anywhere. I'd just say I wanted this paper, what's the chances of me finding something like this on a, on a shop, on an online shop, maybe a friend that sells it. Again, it's when you have the basic understandings of how to make the paper or create, I always like to use the word create, when you understand how to create the paper, then things get much easier. So it's one, one of my favourite ones. I need to do that one again because I think that would be a stunning dragon. That is uh, Elviche as well. So Elviche as well. Another different type of colouring. I'll do another sleeve as well. I'll do three sleeves in total. So again, if you've got any questions about making your own paper, I will do a video covering that as well. Uh, leave them in the comments, I could answer them in that video. And, oh yeah, the double dragon, uh, double dragon, double tissue for the ancient dragon, uh, another or version 2. Is it ancient dragon another or ancient dragon version 2? That it's a, that is 
uh, the official name. But which one is it? Is it? I mean, I don't know why I always say Agent Dragon another. I think I've got that from someone or just I've read it and then that's what I'm going to use. Now this is a sheet that I made for Shuki Kato's uh, Dragonfly. I sold the sheet but I later on wished I never did because I absolutely love it. I think it would have looked so much better. No wait. No it's the other sheet, it's the blue one. Yeah, I'm getting mixed up. This one here. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. This is the sheet I made for Shuki Kato's Dragonfly. I sold it uh, quite a while ago and then I wished I never did because, again, I think it would look absolutely stunning. Um, on the sheet I made, this one, I never coloured the wings, I just kept them white. But when I later looked at a dragonfly, um, the wings tend to be black. Um, so yeah, I may need to do that one again just to do another dragonfly. I just, I absolutely love that paper. And that's the thing as well, about making your own paper. Um, I sell as well, I've got my own Etsy shop. I sell my sheets. Sometimes I wish I never sold the sheets. Um, because they end up being, I look back and I see them as being, oh that's really nice. I wish I'd kept that. Uh, this is another example, this purple one, this light, um, magenta, uh, magenta, I can't remember the, uh, the word for the light purple, but um, again I wish I never sold this one, it's such a stunning sheet, and now I'm jealous of the person who bought it because they have it. But that's what just makes it so exciting about making paper. You can create all these colours, all these combinations, all these textures, dual colours, which is something I haven't um, jumped into yet. Um, I've mostly been focusing on colours and textures, but I've not made like, I've not tried to do like, like green this side, white this side. I think that's the only example, is the one up here. But that's quite a thicker paper. Because I wanted to see how that would turn out. But I mean there's so many options to do. And you just you need that level of creativity to try and plan it all out. Make it come to life. And I think I'll keep that side up for a change. No. This is actually the colour side. Yeah, this is the 4GSM as well. This is a different, it's like a darker, darker olive. You can basically see through it. It's so thin. What should I make with this? Definitely something that needs super thin paper. A nice insect. But what insect would be good with 4GSM? Another whip spider. I did. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'll decide what to like, do as a like. Maybe I'll do a Brian Chan's leaf cat I did as a like, as a as a like a test. And we have black pinch. I think I forgot one of them. On. Oh, that's it. Oh, I don't know. Done. Have a quick look. See what it's like. Look at those colours. And it's just fascinating to look at. I'm so glad I got this idea to do this. If you're wondering what my favourite sheet is, and here it is, this one here. Uh, it's Ovici as well. 
not too sure what to make with it. I've got, I made a few, I've made one of these sheets and then two similar sheets for the one model. So I'll need to decide uh, which sheet to use. But in the meantime, yeah, I'll do one more and then that will be enough for the video. Otherwise it'll be like a 10 hour video of me slotting all these on. I'll try and not put the colours close together. Like, I don't want like all blues on this side. So I definitely need to try and do dual colours. That's the next step. We have Luchi. It's been a while since I have made this. Simply because the paper that I use, I cannot get. This is, it's the only reason why I cannot get this paper anymore and um, it's quite annoying because I ordered quite a bit of it and um, I discovered this I thought wow that's amazing and um, I sold a bunch and then I thought I'll get more I'll make more I'll sell more business mind and then oh no uh, it was none left contacted the owner like can you please put this paper back in stock nothing they couldn't that was it. That is the end of the the Lupchi era. Nice other golden one as well. So that's why you haven't seen any put up for sale or like talked about it anywhere. Um, I do have about six sheets left upstairs. I, that's the sheets that I kept for myself. And then I, of course I sold the other ones. But it would be good to try and recreate that paper. Though I have tried with different types, I don't really get the same results, which is annoying. Nice bright yellow Oviche. Yeah, so that is the original sheet I made for a lobster. And I thought it was a bit too light, and then I changed it from this to that. Although it would still look stunning. And um, it looks light because it's only one layer, but when you you double up the layers, the colour gets uh, thicker and uh, uh, deeper, more luxurious. I'll do one more sleeve here. Why not finish off this side? One more. What do we have here? I think that's Penchi. Yeah, orange. Penchi. Like a burnt tangerine. about having many samples all together is if I'm looking for some inspiration on like what uh, colour of sheet to make I can have a quick glance through here see if anything jumps out I can adjust the recipe if I need to if I want to try something different and that's another good thing as well um, if you are making paper, and if you do use a lot of things, I would advise you write them down. Because it will take a month after you just say make this sheet, and then you go, I want to make it again, but I don't have a clue how I made it. 
what I used, how much I used. Whereas if you write it down, then a year later, you'll have no memory of how to make it, but you've written it all down, so it's easy to recreate. It really does help, because if I get asked, uh, can you remake this sheet for me Grant, I would like to buy it, um, I can do that. So it really does help. But I've only written down the sheets for over like the past six months, I would say. That's all I've written down. That, uh, I think that's when I just, um, thought about doing it, and I started thinking about it. It really helped. Three more, I'll try and pick three different ones. Yeah, this was a quite a weird one to make. Um, this this would be the colour side. Uh, the shiny side isn't really nice. It's like a weird shiny. But this I thought about trying it this texture just to see what it gives me. I'm not actually folded with it. But it's, it's quite unique, um, it's something that is, I've not done before and I always like to try things I've not done, make sheets I haven't made. That's the single, right there. This is one of my favourites. I think this would look really nice, like, an, like an, uh, for a dragon of some sort. You have that really nice, calm brown, and then the colours, layers, as you fold, would uh, deepen and build up. Sleeves. So we'll start from the start, have a little look through, try and get the shine not in the way. Look at those colours, look at those colours, so many varieties. This is why I devote myself to creating paper, um, creating colours, pushing boundaries, making what hasn't been made. It's so much fun. I can't wait till that moment where I can just go. Oh, the blood soup she's over. Can't wait to do that. When they're all full, whenever that is, that's going to be the best experience ever. So, yeah, that is it, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the paper. Um, so, yeah, I will see you in the next video. I'm off to make more paper.